Hello everyone, welcome to this next episode on Anubhav Learning Series. Our today's topic in learning series is logging SAP UI5 application. Many times as a developer, when you're creating SAP UI5 applications, you need to log in all the information, what's going on behind the scene in your JavaScript code. Very often in JavaScript, we use console.log statement, which is not a good practice for logging. That is the reason we go ahead now with a specialized class for logging purpose provided by SAP called SAP Base Log Class. We will add the dependency of that session into our JavaScript code in our controllers and then see how can we log every single possible statement which we would want to as a developer while running the Fury application. So let's get started. So before we start, I would request all of you to please subscribe on this YouTube channel, which gets you the best content all across the globe on different technologies in the SAP area. We offer trainings starting from foundation till the advanced level to make you comfortable with all the latest and greatest concept. You will find here the videos on chart control, S4 HANA, S4 HANA Cloud, on-premise, CDS view, which has essentials for every single developer today to work on the project. Feel free to hit the bell icon and subscribe on this channel so you will not miss out all these free videos which we are uploading on our learning university. If you are interested on the foundation courses, we request you to visit onlinefurytrainings.com where we will help you out to handhold and learn these latest technology in a very easy way. All our courses are designed without any copy paste of code so that you can get a strong hold on this content. So let me switch over to my web IDE, our web development environment for Fury application and create our first SAP UI5 application quickly from the template. So I've right click on the workspace, create a new project from template and we create our UI5 application. Just give a project name, say logging basics. And just give the namespaces online fury trainings.com demo. And say next. And now we create just a single view called app view inside. A very simple Fury application gets created over here with our web app directory on all the necessary components inside. Now We'll just go back to the app view and here in the content we will add a couple of buttons so let me add two buttons we'll just give the text as button one with the press action on btn1 and now i will also add the button two so we've got two buttons added on our user interface and now on click of these buttons we will want to print logging so let's go back here and just add our button logic right now we just add this and button two of course and now we will see what we can do so typically let's say you click on a button what you want to do is you want to print something in the console so you as a developer want to know whether at during runtime execution of your code did the code hit this piece of line? So what usually you do as a JavaScript developer, you put console.log statement. But hey, hold on. When you do that, Web IDE gives you an error. Now, technically speaking, when you run this app, it will not stop, it will not dump. However, it will still work. So I say simple logging in console. Yeah, I just save this and now I will just execute. So you will see this will still work though it's giving an error, then why it's giving an error? The error reason is because of ESLint checks, which WebID does for the best practices. It's a violation of best practice that we should not put console statement as part of our application. So still the code is going to work. So let me just execute this. It launches our application with those two buttons. And you would see in a second, once my app launches, I press F12. And now uh, if I go back, to the console and click on this button 
it's still logging in but it's a violation of best practice so what is the right way for logging in so what we do is we have to go ahead with use of a standard library which SAP provides for logging and this is called SAP base log dependency so let me add that in the scaffolding I will also maximize this a little bit for us to actually see and yeah so let me put here the log login class SAP base log class that's our dependency and now I say log module and now you can use this log class to actually start logging in info so log dot info and I can say hey this seems to be nice yeah and I'll just say save and you see now there is no ES lane check errors but still it behaves the same way but very important when you use such a logging mechanism you have to also inform as AP UI 5 framework that we want to log because this is only for the purpose of development and testing actual production when this app goes this code may go but it should not log anything yeah. similar to this in this log API you also have error function which at times if you want to report an error in the console for while you're developing will be also very helpful so you can check the whole documentation on UI 5 SDK but let's start with info so now important is that this should happen only during our development environment so that's why we go to the bootstrap and we also have to add here a special bootstrap variant saying that we want to go ahead and log uh, all the statements so data hyphen SAP UI log level equals to debug please do mention that in the bootstrapping and now we are ready for action so let's go back to the application and reload our app and now the logging will be on so we can go ahead and try it out oops we have an issue now you can see it's having a dependency issue over here with the log base class so what could be the issue why system is unable to load this log library Please remember, it also depends on which version of SAP UI 5 you are currently running your application. Now let's check it out, which version I am running on. So you can use Control Alt Shift to P, and now you can check it out. This will tell you which version of SAP UI 5 framework is loaded in your current application. So as I'm running currently with my local web IDE, it's running with local version of 1.52. So probably this particular log library is not available as part of my this version so what I do is I go back to web IDE index HTML to the bootstrap and now here we will change the bootstrapping variant to the latest version from the CDN so SAP UI 5 dot HANA dot on demand dot com save it and now come back here refresh let's see what happens and voila it works you can see now it has also loaded the latest theme and I can just go back and just give a close look at the console so I click on button 2 and there you go it prints by default the timestamp and also the text which we wanted to see similarly you can also um, print sap.ui.sap.base.log dot uh, error also yeah like this you can do that now of course here just to test it you have to get this library and then you have to give a try with a statement which you want to so just go there and then you can check this library here okay it's not able to read it here but I hope you got an idea so this is the best practice you should also keep it in mind because by default when you're trying to print something on the console as a developer system is not going to uh, entertain you it's a violation of ES lane checks but at times as a developer I would want to display things on the on the on the console makes it pretty easy for me to analyze my code uh, in a system where logging has been enabled yeah so with that thank you so much please subscribe on this channel hit the bell icon and let me know what do you think about this video in the comment box below thank you so much and goodbye